That breaking news in Round Rock this morning, reports of a police officer having been shot. Well, this is happening on McNeil Road and East Messick Loop. There's a map to give you an idea of where Kate Whitehall is live this morning with the latest on this investigation. Kate, any update? Yeah, I just learned that it is a sergeant with the Travis County Sheriff's Department who was shot, possibly killed out here tonight. We understand that possibly the sheriff could be on his way out here this morning to talk to us about all of this. This is all very preliminary. We are waiting for a news conference to be held at 6 o'clock this morning. But here's what we know so far. This is the street where the sergeant lives, Oak Meadow. This is a uh, small neighborhood right off of McNeil here in Round Rock. And just a short time ago, the Round Rock Operations Center uh, truck pulled up. We've seen SWAT officers. We've seen police dogs. And you might be able to even hear the helicopter that's flying above. We're not sure if that's APD's Air One or DPS. We're still waiting to find out. But we understand that there are two suspects that they are out looking for this morning. And at this point, no description has been given of those suspects. But I can tell you from just driving out to this location this morning, there has been an extremely large police presence. And we're not just talking Travis County Sheriff's Department, we're talking Pflugerville, Round Rock Police, APD, all out here this morning doing the search for these two suspects. Now, what are the, the details surrounding this shooting from overnight? We, we don't know. We're waiting to find out from the Travis County Sheriff's Department later on this morning, but we have learned that it was a sergeant shot overnight inside his home. So we are waiting for more details as the morning goes on, but you can just see behind me, guys, it's an extremely large police presence. So if you live in Round Rock and you are headed out this morning, just know that you might see some roadblocks. There are lots of them. There are um, officers out with their big guns, and they are there. You can see it all. So just so you know, um, they are looking for two suspects, and we hope as the morning goes on, we'll be able to provide you some more information. Kate, before we let you go, obviously these are police officers who were out there doing their job looking for whomever is responsible, but they're also police officers who have been under the microscope for so long with everything that's going on in our country. So I want to know kind of the emotional feel that you're seeing out there, something that we're not able to see on the camera. Is there something that you're able to tell us on what the mood is like out there? Sure, it, it's certainly tough. And I was just talking with a deputy, and I said to him, you know, this is a tough time for you guys. And he said, you know, I've been doing this for like 30 years, and I can't remember a time where it has been this challenging. And in fact, when I was pulling into this neighborhood, trying to even get in, going through the roadblocks, uh, I talked to a SWAT officer. You know, he had a big gun, and he's carrying it. And he's, I just said, you know, thank you for all that you do. You know, be careful. And he started to cry. So this is. Um, this is certainly a tough time and for officers being out here, and there are so many out here, Sally. It's heartbreaking. Kate Whitehall, thank you. Live at the scene, whenever the chief gets there, I know Kate will let us know. We'll, of course, let you know as well.